guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm bringing you um, spring makeup tutorial it's a very it's a cool tone rose gold because I wanted to use the makeup revolution awesome metals eyeshadow in rose gold so this is what I came up with and also I am trying out the bourgeois rouge edition aqua leg I have three of them and I thought it would be fun just to show you guys the swatches so if you want to know how to get this look Please keep on watching. I've already done my face base and also my eyebrows, so link of the products will be in the description box below. Starting off with the uh, beige color from the Laura Pro palette too. Uh, if you don't have this palette, you can just go ahead and take any like a shimmer or set and finish beige uh, color. That will be fine. So just apply it all over the eyelid and just bring it also to the inner corner of your eyes. Taking the cool grey shade, uh, just apply it in your crease. Remember to bring it um, from the inner corner to the outer corner and you just do the swiping motion. Uh, don't worry if it, if it's a bit you know messy. Just remember that um, we're gonna uh, come back with the same color once again after we apply the Makeup Revolution Awesome Metals eyeshadow. Taking the shade chrome and using the same blending brush just apply it at the outer corner just a little bit and then just sort of like just blend it up create a v shape at the outer corner and just blend it out The style of the show Makeup Revolution Awesome Matte's Eyeshadow in Rose Gold. So what we're going to do, we're going to mix the primer and the eyeshadow in this tray. Just mix it together and just by using your fingers, apply it all over your eyelid. Really pack it on because I want it to be stand out. I must say that I really like this um, Awesome Melters eyeshadow because it really glides smoothly on my eyelids and it is not patchy at all and I really like it. I think it is a great way to amp up your eye makeup. Next, we are taking cool grey once again and we're going to put it in our crease and just again do the swabbing motion and remember to bring it to your inner corner. I just want, it, want the look to be a bit more sort of like a taupey, um, you know, I don't know, I think this is very, very nice. Taking the color rose in the Laura Pro Palette 2, I'm just going to um, highlight my inner corner and I'm going to drag it uh, to my lower lash line. Um, I think just maybe about half or you know one third of the lashes, not all the way. Next, I'm going to take my Dollar Wing Eyeliner, uh, Liquid Eyeliner in black and yes you guess you're right I'm gonna do my cat eye what else that's what I like and that's what I'm going to do but this one is a bit different because I drew a line at the outer corner of my eye and from the the tip of the flake I'm just gonna drag it into the center of my uh, top lash line um, and I try to make it a very thin line as you can see here at the top of my lashes because um, I just want to emphasize on the flick rather than you know the thickness on my lash line So the next step I'm taking my Dior Addict 8 Lash Mascara and I'm just gonna 
you know, put on some mascara on my top lashes and also my lower lashes. Next, I'm taking my NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm just going to do a little bit contouring on my cheek just to give me that more of a, I don't know, more structured look and well, it's not really that heavy contouring, just a little bit. Just For my cheeks, I'm using NYX Blush in Spice. Um, I really like this one because it's very pigmented and I really want the rosy cheeks and I think this is achievable with the shade. I really, really like it. I'm gonna try out this Bourjois Rouge Edish Aqua Lag and the first color is Babe Idol. I don't know if I pronounce it right. This is a very sweet pink. I think it really goes well with the whole look. This this one looks so innocent. So the next color is Brown Creable, if that's the right way to say it. This is a very beautiful, sort of like a very red color. No, just love it. It's beautiful. The last shade from Bourjois Aqualac is feeling ready. As you can see here, this is a red with orange undertone. I don't know how I feel about it because I'm not really... I'm not a really a fan of red with orange undertone, but if you like, give it a go. I love new lipsticks, if you know me. And of course, I'm gonna show you guys an option. This is um, Leche. This is a crayon matte cream lipstick, if I'm not mistaken, the name is. It is a very beautiful nude pink shade. It's just so lovely. I really love Bite Beauty. I just wish Sephora will just bring by beauty in Malaysia because the lipstick is amazing. I really like it. See how much I like it? Really like it guys. So I'm going to finish it off with my favorite butter gloss which is uh, NYX in Tiramisu just to give it more of fuller and luscious lips. Here it is guys, um, the final look. I really like the cool tone, rose gold, rosy cheeks with, you know, luscious lips. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.